Hi guys, Vicki here. So I thought today we could just do a little bit of an update on the um, seedlings that I started in February. <laughs> so it's been, oh sorry, January. Um, started them in January. It's been a while since I made, I started these. I, I honestly can't quite remember the date. That might be a lesson that I can take for next year to maybe write down when I have done stuff. But this is them as they are today. And honestly, they're looking really good. The um, seedlings that were getting a little distressed are doing much better in their new, bigger container. Um, so that's been positive. Um, and I know I do need to start like a whole nother tray of the herbs once I get these in the ground, but I am pleased with how things are looking right now. Um, some of these tomatoes have decided to grow a little wonky um, and they are getting kind of off. They're not up straight up and down anymore. So I put those little popsicle sticks in to help stand them upright. But overall, I think that they are doing quite well with their container which is good because I don't really want to put these in the ground just yet um, but some of them are getting so big they are overshadowing that parsley um, I know it's a little out of focus but that parsley that's on the side there um, as well as the ground cherries they're just not getting as much sun from sun um, as much light from the grow lights because these tomatoes have gotten so big. So maybe I will be able to plant those um, in the ground sooner. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on my weather to see when the 30 something degree temperatures are behind us before I get too crazy. Um, this watermelon is also um, starting to grow quite rapidly. I, um, as you can see, the plants today spent some time out on the porch because I am beginning the process of kind of hardening them off for planting outside. Um, certainly some of these, like these kind of sad looking basil, I, I don't know if, if they will make it. That whole tray was kind of stressed and sad um but things like those broccoli um and the brussels sprouts i think i might go ahead and put in the ground this weekend i do now have their beds filled with soil so i can actually do that <laughs> so that's exciting and i think that they will benefit from just finally getting out and getting settled um i spent today about Mm, six hours on the porch in the sun um, and the plants didn't seem stressed at all now it wasn't a very windy day it wasn't a very hot day but um, I definitely think that some of these plants are ready so I'm thinking about the lettuces and the broccoli and the Brussels sprouts going ahead and getting them just out um, also maybe these winter squash um, you can see their leaves are, are a little yellowed. I think they're just not happy in these little smaller containers. Um, there's just not enough room for their roots and for them to grow. So those are the things I'm targeting to maybe transplant this weekend, as well as these marigolds. I mean, as you can see, they have just grown very well. I've got flower buds on most of the plants as well as actually the first bloom there and that is further than I wanted them to get while inside because I'm not sure that the plants will actually grow to the best that they would have if they had been transplanted when they were smaller. Um, but this, they've actually, they've, they've just overwhelmed myself with how well they've done. I mean, these marigolds grew incredibly <laughs> considering they've just been in a tray on the shelf under light. You know, I mean, it's been incredible. So I think they are also fine to go out. And I'm going to put a couple in each of the raised beds. So my hope for this weekend, if I can kind of get myself together here, <laughs> is to finish installing the raised beds. I did get this, the rest of the soil last weekend so I can fill them and then get these guys 
out in the earth, if not over the weekend on Monday, so that it's finally, you know, less stress on the plants just being inside in their little confined space. So that's my goal. I started with six hours outside. I'll probably do that again tomorrow and maybe increase it to uh, eight and then 10 and then 12 before I send them out. Um, but honestly, they're looking great and I'm so excited to see this progress. I can't wait to see what they do in the yard.